Hi, in this video I'll be showing you this. It's the Dyson V10 Dock. And what I want to do today is to show you around the dock and some of the features and benefits that it offers. But also to answer the question, which I do get asked quite a bit about this, will other models fit it? I'm going to go through the other cordless models in the Dyson range and just see whether they fit this one. But just before I start, all I'd normally say is please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just give us a quick thumbs up. What I do is I'll talk about things like household appliances, cordless vacuum cleaners and accessories like these. And there's normally a bit of tech in there as well. So just give us a quick subscribe, then we'll make a start. So first of all, I'd explain what the dock is and what it's all about. Traditionally, with a Dyson cordless vacuum cleaner, now a lot of the models come with one of these. They come with a wall bracket. And the idea is that the model will sit within the wall bracket. And that's brilliant because what you can do is you can actually put the charger within the bottom of the wall bracket. So in theory, whenever you've got the vacuum cleaner stored on the wall, then it's charging. So that every time you go to it, it's fully charged, which I think is a brilliant idea. Now the wall bracket idea is good uh, for a lot of people, but there are some people where either they don't have space, uh, if you live in say a rented flat or apartment, then the landlord might not want you to put things like this up on the wall. Some landlords are pretty strict on, in that side. Um, also, if you do have space on a wall, it might not be near to a main socket. So I do know of some people that have been putting the vacuum cleaner on the wall. Uh, if it's not near to a main socket, they have to take it off and charge it elsewhere, which kind of defeats the object. So I suppose the question is, what is the dock? And essentially, this is it. And really the idea is, it's offering a similar concept of storage of the vacuum cleaner and the accessories uh, without having to put anything on the wall. So you pick where you want it. It is nice and compact, which is what I really like. You have also got the charging facility at the top here. So when you get the charger, then just place it within the unit. And also you've got the cord storage around the back. So hopefully you can see that. Uh, this is where you can loop it to get rid of any excess cable. And then there's a channel running all the way down to the bottom here. Uh, so clearly depends where the, the main socket is. Uh, I suppose for a lot of people it's going to be a bit above the floor. So it won't go all the way to the bottom. As far as the dimensions on this, uh, as far as the, the base of it is 26 centimetres or just over 10 inches. Uh, clearly it's circular, so it's going to be the same for the width as well. And as far as the height, so as you go to the very top here, you're looking at around 74 centimetres or just over 29 inches. So wherever you put in this, I suppose just make sure it will fit in. There's nothing worse than buying it and then realising it doesn't fit. So the idea is that when you finish your vacuuming, then the vacuum itself just slots in at the top. And as I mentioned earlier, because you've got the charging port there, then as soon as you put that in, then the vacuum cleaner will start to charge. And as far as the, you've got the main wand or the lamps, that can just sit on the floor like that. So as far as a, a design, I think that's brilliant. You have also got space around the side here. So you've got space for four tools as well and also for one more just on the right hand side there. Uh, I did mention about the height of it earlier. Uh, I will just re-measure the height because clearly once everything is stored on there, then it does add to the height. Uh, you will be looking around 83 centimeters or just, just under 33 inches. What the VTang dock also comes with is this. It comes with an array of tools as well. Uh, so first of all, I'll just cover the tools that it comes with. Uh, the, this first one is the, the stub and dirt brush. That's, that's normally a really good brush. So if you've got things like dry, muddy footprints, uh, if you've got kids, then you'll know what I mean. Dry, muddy footprints on the, on the carpet, that's a really good one to, to get it up. Uh, then you've got this wide nozzle here. It's uh, sometimes referred to as a mattress tool. That's quite a good one because it's, because it's pretty wide. If you're covering, covering a large area when you're using the handheld uh, well, when you're using the vacuum as a handheld, then that's normally quite a good one to use. Uh, this one here, this is a soft dusting brush, so it's almost opposite to the stub and dirt brush. Uh, the soft dusting brush is normally a good one for, uh, I suppose if, you, if, if you're in your kitchen, um, and if you wanted to go around, say, your, your hob, um, or if you want to do your computer keyboard, then that's normally a really good one. And the next one you've got here is more of an adapter rather than a tool. And this is like a, what they call an up-top adapter. 
and the idea is that you put this onto the vacuum let me show you so do it the right side so that goes up like that then what you do is you attach the adapter into there like that and what you can do is you can if you wanted to vacuum say on top of cupboards or somewhere a bit higher up then that just gives you the option to do that so that's uh, that's quite good I'm pleased to see that Dyson is still using this adapter uh, we did tend to find that within the vacuums especially nowadays they're tending to go the other way so they use something called a reach under tool or a low reach adapter depending on which model it is and that really goes the other way so the idea is that you can um, you can actually get under beds or under sofas things like that rather than going on top of cupboards using this adapter and then the last tool it comes with is this this is a flexible hose and it just extends out like that so just have a quick measure for you so as far as the the length on this you're looking at 47 centimeters or just over 18 inches uh, and the idea of this is that you pop this into the vacuum and then you just get one of the tools and that slots into the end like that and the idea is uh, I suppose you can you're just a little bit more flexible so if where you vacuum in is in quite a tight area uh, for example if, if you want to do it say down the side of your car that or down the side of your car seat uh, then sometimes you might not be able to have full access using the vacuum because it's quite a big body on here uh, if you've got a, a small car or if it's a little bit of a confined area then just having that little adapter could be really good and as I would say all of those tools are included in the box within the dock and then when you finish with those tools then that just slots in at the front there nicely and again I really like that what you will find is for some of the models you will be doubling up on the tools so if you have bought something uh, like quite a high spec V10 uh, then you will find that it does come with quite a, a good range of tools anyway so things like the uh, the upholstery tool or the stubborn dirt brush the soft dusting brush you might double up on those uh, but I suppose what I'd normally do is just put those to one side and then put all of your other tools to store just around the side there so clearly this is called the Dyson Cyclone V10 dock but a common question we get asked about this is that well I've got another model I've got say a V7 or a V8 will that fit this dock because Dyson don't do a full range of docks for all the models uh, I know that's quite difficult for them to do uh, but I think that at the moment it is you know quite an important accessory uh, I mean this is something we we tend to do really well with as a company so what I wanted to do is I have got the rest of the models in the current range of Dyson and I just want to see if they fit in there because at the moment I haven't tried it so to start with I've got the V7 now I know in instantly, even before putting that on, that's not going to fit because the charging port is in there and on the V7 it's in there. Now essentially that is the same concept as the V8, the, the models are very similar. So if you've got a V7 or a V8 then it definitely won't work. Uh, next one to try is the V11 or the V15 because essentially that's pretty much the same model and the same design. Will that fit in? nope so although the charging port is underneath then it so in theory that's in the right position but the battery is too wide for that to fit in so the v11 and the v15 don't fit in although there is a separate dock for those models so if you if you are thinking about buying something like this for the v11 or v15 then there, there is a separate link hopefully that i'll put below to show you where to find one of those and the final one was the the big boy in the range this is the outsize absolute and um, with that one no no chance so that doesn't fit either so clearly Dyson have called this the V10 dock for a reason because it will only fit the V10 so if you have got a Dyson V10 like this and if you are thinking about buying one of the docks then I have provided a link below to show you where to get it at a competitive price I hope you enjoyed this quick video on the Dyson V10 dock I always know it's going to be quite a quick video uh, I, I suppose I should have really showed you how to put it together uh, unfortunately I'd, I'd already uh, got quite excited and put it together before the video uh, but it, it's a really simple process it's just a case of clipping the two parts together and then you just pop these two bits on the top uh, that's just where you store the accessories so apart from that it's only a minute to put it together it's dead easy 
Uh, but as I say, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'd always ask for comments, whether it's good or bad, about the video. If I have missed something, there might be something that you're not too sure about, then uh, just pop it in the comments. But all I would say is please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just give us a quick thumbs up, click subscribe. Uh, if you have got one of these, so if you have got a V10 dock, or even one of the V11 docks, uh, they do quite a range of docks within the Dyson range, let me know what you think about it, because I'd always appreciate the feedback. Thanks for watching.